wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Grisman Aduloju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Salmon the UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. For our meditation and discussion, we consider the Word of God from the book of Proverbs, chapter 17, and in verse number 17. The Bible says, A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Let me take that verse of scripture in the message translation. The Bible says, Friends love through all kinds of weather, and families stick together in all kinds of troubles. I am sharing a word on marble or words on marble with my dear listener this morning. The word I'm sharing says that sentence, please note it. As we grow older, we don't lose friends. We just learn who the real friends are. As we grow older in life, we don't lose friends. It appears we lose friends, but we truly don't lose friends. We simply rediscover, we simply learn who the real friends are. Look at what the message transition says. Friends love through all kinds of weather. As you grow old, dear listener, as you grow older, you will discover that not all who say that they are your friends are your friends. I like to prepare you for this reality. It is not everybody that calls you friend that is genuinely your friend. Some friends are fear weather friends. Fear weather in the sense that they stay with you when things are okay, when things are fine. That is when they hang around you. They hang around you for their own convenience. And when things are tough or bad, they disappear from you. There is no commitment with them. They have no commitment to this friendship. There is no commitment unto you. People are around you for their own convenience. The earlier you understand this, the better. And I like everyone listening to me. You are a pastor, you pastor a church, or you are coordinate a group, you are in charge of a group of persons. You must understand it is not everybody that truly or genuinely loves you. And people are not around you for your sake. People are around you for their own sake. This is one truth of life that God has taught me and he has made me to see again and again and again. As long as Jesus gave people bread to eat, they ran after him. They were hailing him. And the day he said, there is no bread again. The bread I'm giving you today is my flesh. You will eat my flesh. You will drink my blood. Many left him. Some of the disciples even left him because they could not understand. We are asking this man to give us bread to eat. He's talking about one flesh and one blood somewhere. And so they left him because what he said was very hard. When things are hard, when things are tough, that is when you know who your true friends are. And that's exactly what the scripture says. A friend loveth at all times. The friend that is truly a friend is the one that loves at all times. He loves whether it is convenient. He loves whether it is not convenient. If this man is committed to you. He's not looking for convenience. He's not looking for what to get from you. There are many people around you who are just looking, who are around you because of what they want to get from you. As soon as they get it, they leave you for the next person. There are people you must understand who want to climb on your shoulder, climb on your head. Onto their, onto their destiny, onto their promised place. They want to climb on you, and as soon as you place your shoulders down for them to climb, as soon as they get to that place, they push you down. There are people you will hold ladder for. You are holding the ladder for them to climb. As they climb the ladder to the top, they throw the ladder down so that you don't climb up again. That is life, dear listener. And you must understand, this is the attitude of people. This is how people are wired. An average person is wired this way. He has no commitment to you. They have no commitment to you. Don't think everyone running around you, hailing you, is genuinely committed to you. No way. You must understand. Those who are saying Osana to you today may be the one to say crucify him tomorrow. They did that to our Lord Jesus Christ. And so friends love through all kinds of weather. 
the person that stays with you through all kinds of weather, when things are fine, when things are not fine. He stays with you even in your mistake, even in your mess. He stays with you. He is not a fear weather friend. A friend loves through all kinds of weather and families stick together in all kinds of trouble. Your family cannot leave you when you are in trouble. Where will they go? To whom will they push you? Your family won't leave you. You must have that understanding. Your number one fan is your family. You find your fam number one fan in your family. Don't forget also, there is also a household enemy. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10, verse 36, that a man's foe shall be they of his own household. So those who are close to you sometimes could be your worst enemies. You must be very careful. Be prepared for the disappointments of people around you. Please, never blame people for disappointing you. Blame yourself for expecting too much from people. People will always be people and don't ever forget, people are not with you, they are not around you, they are not in your church for your sake. They are uh, in your church, they are around you, they are patronizing you for their own sake, for their own benefit. Everybody is looking for what to get, for benefit he wants to get from you, or how your association with them will benefit them and increase them. You must be careful. Jesus understood this very well. In Matthew chapter number 7 and in verse 21, the Bible says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. It is not everyone that says to Jesus, Lord, Lord, that is truly a friend. He said, that verse of scripture, the message transition says, knowing the correct password, saying, Master, Master, for instance, isn't going to get you anywhere with me. What is required is serious obedience, doing what my father wills. That is the friend to Jesus. Anybody who does the father's will, not those who say, Lord, Lord, or Master, Master, with their mouth. Jesus understood this, and the Bible says he knew all men. He would not have anybody to speak for him. He did not depend lavishly on people. Don't depend lavishly on people. If Jesus had depended lavishly on Peter, when Peter denied him, that would have devastated him. But Jesus did not depend lavishly on Peter. He knew all men. If Jesus had depended on James and John, he would have been disappointed when they came to make a request for his right hand and his left hand. When, if Jesus had lavishly depended on Judas Iscariot, the treasurer of the ministry, he would have been totally disappointed when Judas Iscariot came to betray him. He didn't depend on people. Don't depend lavishly on people. And if you must have friends, then you must also show yourself friendly. Show yourself friendly. Dear friend, show yourself friendly and don't forget as we grow older we don't lose friends we just learn who the real friends are as you grow older people may leave your life some people you started with may leave you that is normal that is natural don't pick offense because people are leaving it is important for you to note that their season in your life is over a new season as a reason so don't be dragging the relationship that has passed with the last season into this new season it may hurt you lord tagged along abraham abraham was seriously hurt with the presence of lord in his life until he separated from lord there are people you may have to separate yourself from if you must get to the place that God has destined for you. Don't forget, when people leave you, their season with you is over or their reason around you has come to an end. When, or as we grow older, we don't lose friends, we just learn who the real friends are. Are you a real friend? May the Lord give you understanding. Let us pray. I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray. Father, give me the grace to show myself friendly, to be a true and a genuine help to people, a genuine friend to others in the name of Jesus. This is my prayer, O God, that you will make me a genuine friend, not one seeking for his own convenience or what to get, but one that is committed, that wants to be a blessing to others. In Jesus' precious name, lift your voice and pray. Say, Father, make me a blessing to my friends. 
Make me a blessing to people around me in the name of Jesus. Make me a blessing, O oh God, to people around me. Make me a blessing to my friends and family in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray and say, Father, give me the grace to let go of friends that have outlived their seasons in my life. Friends that have outlived their reasons in my life. Give me the grace to let go. Give me the emotional strength and stamina to let go in the precious name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray. Receive the spiritual and emotional stamina to wither the storm when people disappoint you, when people betray you. Receive that grace now. Father, I receive the grace, the spiritual strength and stamina to wither the storm when people betray or backstab me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' precious name, I'd like you to lift up your voice to pray and say, Father, help me to seek the welfare of people around me, to genuinely seek the welfare of people. Help me not to be people user, but to be of a genuine blessing to people. In Jesus' precious name, I'd like you to lift up your voice like Job and speak a blessing to the lives of your friends, even including those who offended you, including those who accused you. The three friends of Job came to accuse him, but Job prayed for them. I'd like you to lift up your voice and declare a blessing, pronounce a blessing upon your friends. Father, I pronounce blessings upon my friends, that you will bless them in the name of Jesus. Bless those who persecute me. Bless my oppressors. Bless my accusers. Those who lie against me. Those who, uh, who blackmailed me, those who backstabbed me, those who betrayed me, Lord, I ask that you will help them open their eyes to see. I pray for my friends that you will heal those who are sick. You will deliver those who are in trouble. You will pay the debt of those who are owing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, in Jesus' precious name. And because you have prayed for your friends, I declare, according to the word of God, God will restore you. There will be a turnaround in your situation. The Lord will restore your losses. The time you have lost, God will restore. The resources you have lost, God will restore. The money you have lost, God will restore. The opportunities you have lost, God will restore. You will be divinely restored and God's name will be glorified. I pray for spiritual and emotional stamina for you so that when men are men, when men reveal themselves as men, you will not be broken. You will not be heartbroken and you will not be cast down. You will understand that men are men. I pray the, God, the Lord will open your eyes to know who the true friends are as you grow older. As friends, people leave you. The grace to know who the real friends are may it be given unto you in the name of Jesus. I pray that you'll be a blessing to people around you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Support Daily Impact with Grace Man with your prayer. Please pray for this program and pray for me. You can support Daily Impact also by forwarding this message and sharing the link with your contacts. You can also support financially and your financial donations can be sent to the Senate bank account number 12161006456. The account name is Daily Impact with Grace Man. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on other social media platforms. My handle on all platforms is at Yemi Grace Man. Until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program, I am Yemi Grace Man at Tuloju, wishing you a very glorious day and the Lord bless you. Oh, I am.